I want to ask you, uh, when you talk about bluegrass music, uh, do you make a distinction between bluegrass and country music as a whole, or is bluegrass in included in country music? Oh, I think you'd have to include it somewhat. I'll tell you what, see, we're, we're our own group. We're the Country Gazette, and uh, we play a lot of bluegrass festivals and bluegrass shows, and uh, by, I guess, the majority of the people, people, we're called a bluegrass band, but we don't feel that that's what we are, because we just play music that we like, and we happen to use the same instruments that are used in bluegrass bands. And we do some of the old bluegrass standards, too. I think, uh, but, you know, you say uh, Bill Monroe is the originator of bluegrass music. Well, he doesn't include us in his bluegrass. No, you know. Know. Well, because we're too modern. We don't do uh, his old songs. We, we've tried to keep music progressing instead of just letting it lie back there where he left it. I and, know he doesn't like amplified instruments. Well, we don't use amplified instruments, not on stage. Uh, but we do more modern type songs, songs of today, whereas he's still back with uh, Footprints in the Snow. And now for contestant number 10, and his breakdown is Huckleberry Hornpipe.